everybody's very talkative this morning. I see I've got you guys all crooked there, but that's okay. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. This is Melanie with Littlefoot Farm from Alberta, Canada. And today is day 24 of our 30-day vlog homestead challenge or homestead vlog challenge. Um, we are so excited. This has been a hit. We've really enjoyed filming and documenting our journey. And we want to keep doing it. But in celebration of the 30th day, we will be giving away one of our journaling books. So check out our Facebook page for details on that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Um, we love sharing our journey with you guys. We love seeing your comments and questions along the way. And yeah, so I'm in the chicken coop. Everybody's very talkative. There is some food left in here, you guys. Um, but yeah, we'll be topping that up. I noticed there is an egg over in the corner, so I'll grab that one. Not sure why somebody didn't use the nesting box. Maybe it was an emergency lay. Oh no, <laughs> that sounded terrible. But um, anyway, I brought the dusting bath area inside because yesterday it was so warm the big netting was dripping and getting really wet in the run outside got a chicken over my shoulder and so i brought it in i don't like to have it inside because it gets so dusty in here but i noticed they were wanting to dust that bathe outside and it was just getting too wet so brought the galvanized tub in they love my ring it, it's loved by everybody here. Um, so yeah, so I see they've been disturbing it. They've been in there. Well, red hen. They're not doing any chicken squat on me. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. We'll do the chores in here and then we'll head down to the pig pen and work with the piggies again. What are you doing? What? I thought maybe she wanted me to pick her up, but no, I don't think so. What are you doing? You seemed like you were coming at me there. You want to say hi to the people? With the little red hen? Say hi to the people? Say hi. Ooh. You've been eating. I could feel your crop here. It's got food in it. There you go, Cheese. You check her out. She's just fine. Yeah, so there's an egg in here. Wait a minute. There's an egg way back here, too. I'm going to feed these to the dogs because I don't know. Maybe those eggs were laid a long time ago and then they just kind of scratch the surface of the shavings and they've just surfaced. So, like, they're cold. They, have, they were not laid recently. That is quite strange. Um, anyway, so, yeah. Hey, buddy. How are you? Why would you do that? All right. Yeah, so these are going to go to the dog. All the squawky squawkersons today. <laughs> and the door being turned around is a huge success. <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear me. I know right now you can't see me. I've just stepped out of the picture there. Um, but yeah, I am liking the door turned this way. That was totally worth the um, handiwork that I did there. All right. Just, I don't know if you can still hear me. I'm just running to the dog pen so they can eat these eggs. And they're very excited about it. Oh. Lost connection. Let's see. Am I going to get connected again? Or did they die? Oh, hello. Let's see. I heard my earbud make a funny sound. It says it's still on, so... I hope you guys can still hear me. This is the biggest battle of the vlog. 
is making sure you guys can see and hear everything because I just chat, chat, chat away. And if you can't hear me, then that's not very exciting for you guys, is it? So I'm going to soak. If you watched yesterday's video, we introduced alfalfa pellets to the pigs, and they weren't too keen on the bigger, harder pellet. Um, Porky even started gagging at one point. It was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to soak those so they pop up a bit more before I go down there. So that's why I'm just going to prep that in here while I'm feeding chickens, gathering eggs. Look at you way up there. You're not even supposed to be up there. Can you guys see that rogue chicken? She is up on top of the no roosting protector for the water. She's a crazy girl. Alrighty. So we got that. This little tray's got quite a bit of grit left in it, but I'm going to top up the oyster shell. Again, we use oyster shell to help strengthen their eggshell production or the eggshell during production. Gives it a bit of a stronger shell. We haven't had any trouble with like lash eggs or we had one weirdly formed egg the other day, but I accidentally broke it. It looked like it went around a bend on its way out, like it was curved kind of on one side. It was kind of weird, but um, oh, that alfalfa is puffing up right away. Good. So another, another scoop in for these guys. Why are you acting so crazy? There you go. Lots of food for you. Yeah. Frankie's molting, so she's losing feathers. She's kind of favoring her one foot, too. I'm not sure what's going on there. What's going on, honey? What's going on? You want me to take a look at it? Not that I'm a chicken doctor or anything. What are you doing with the door? You're just running at it. When these black and gold and red chickens were growing up, we called them the rat. We called them the raptors because we originally had them. Originally had them in with our. Hold on. I'm checking it out. I'm checking it out. Yeah, you're just getting more feathers there, and somebody, no, somebody pecked you. You're okay. See, she's okay. She's just squawking. <laughs> she's molting, so she's losing her feathers. She looks a little different, and everybody um, seems to kind of pick on the chickens that look a little different. So the Brahmas tend to get their feet pecked a little bit more by these raptors. We call them raptors. Oh, I was telling you about that. So we called them raptors because they came at the same time as our broilers. And they started eating the broilers. They had plenty of food. You wouldn't believe how much they all ate. But, um, yeah, they started just pecking the broilers behind their wing on the soft jelly part of their body. So we ended up having to separate them broilers or Cornish cross grew on their own and the egg layers grew on their own because they were just 
being raptors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. New feathers coming in so nicely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, your skin looks gorgeous. You're so nice and healthy. Yeah. So nice and healthy. Okay, go down then. Cheese. Yeah, look. Raptor chicken. All right, let me grab. What are you trying to eat in there? What's falling down? Why do you do that? Low red hen. That's a low red hen. Low red hen. You're the star of the show today. Yes. Yes, you are. You stay down from up there. There's a bit of diatomaceous earth up here, and maybe she's pecking at that. I'm not sure. She has been a crazy lady. All right, so we got one egg, two, three, four, five eggs. This one's kind of small. That might be a, a Brahma egg. I haven't seen them actually lay an egg yet, but. Just feels a little bit smaller. I hope you can see that. Um, I've got a black hen in there. Let me see. The little white hen went in just now. Hopefully they don't drop you. So they're liking the nesting boxes. I am going to put some clean shavings down today. It's um, getting a, a little bit dirty in her. Uh, dirtier in here quicker because they're going out into the mud coming in and then of course their chicken squat but um rocky's area he's keeping it nice and clean he's been scratching around to get his food that's fallen out of his dish so he is he doesn't know it but he's turning over his own shavings and manure and tidying up for me Yes, I hear you. So under that black hen in that nesting box, I'm guessing there's going to be four or five eggs in there. She was wanting to sit pretty long yesterday, so I shooed her out. And there was about that many in there. Oh, Goldie's come to check on the crew. Goldie's our grandma hen. There. Okay, she came out. There was only two. I was not right. But I love these pink ones. A little pink compared to the brownish peach. Put that in the basket. And then I will put a few more shavings in the bins. In the nesting boxes. Because I think when they're turning around in their nesting, making their little nest. They turn around in circles and they scratch around to make like a well. And unfortunately, they do end up picking some of it out. So just toss them in. It also helps to keep the eggs clean. Like their feet are coming in dirty, but Somebody is going up here. They're just not laying an egg. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know the science of this top shelf. Why they're not interested in it as much. Okay, Rocky, I don't mean to scare you. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, just a little bit. So these are kiln dried. Um, I think they're, what does it say? Pure natural wood shavings. I want to say they're pine. 
I can't remember. So put freshen up the roosting area, the general walking area. Like you can see the difference. Nice bright peach colored shavings. They like to come in and check it out. And it gives it a nice fresh smell. I will also put down a little bit more diatomaceous earth, and that helps with keeping out pests. Like, oh, taking my shelf for a walk, apparently. Um, pests, diatomaceous earth. Small critters you can't see, like mites, any. If there's lice comes in from out or other rodents bring them in. So it's just a powder. You can also use it for um, anthills. If you have anthills. I put it on their poop because that's like the micro... It, Microorganisms often will feed on the poop. We've got lots in that dusting pan already. Put a little bit in their feed so that if they do have any parasites inside, what it does is it gets into the joints of the parasite and it can't walk around and it can't eat, so therefore it dies. So that is how that works. The alfalfa is popped up. I'm hoping the pigs will enjoy that more today. Lick a bit more than yesterday. Now that they know, they can't just scarf it down and choke on it. All right, so that looks good. I believe chickens are done. Were you getting water out of that? Yes, you were. Good job kind of hard being over here because they can only really get to these two nipples because Rocky's got that one there but once he's better and not going to be being picked on then he'll come out with everybody or he will head to freezer camp it'll be one or the other that is unfortunately farm life but we raise our birds for meat one way or another right so he was going to be part of our breeding stock but if he can't get up on a hen they're not going to let him mate so he'll just be non-participant in the breeding program one two scoops of food that's probably too much actually with all the alfalfa Dang it. I'm gonna take half a scoop back. No, it's mixed up now. It's a little chillier today. We'll have to do the weather report in my next video. Okay, well I think I'm ready to go down to the pig pen. All right, so I'm gonna try and do a weather report with the uh, chickens in the background here, and the dog's tail. Hi, Rose. Come on over. All right. So chickens are in the big pen. It is plus two, sun is shining. A little bit of cloud, but not much as a blue sky. Dogs are loving it. Chickens were so excited to get out in the big pen. I put a bunch of hay down so that they could dry their feet off and eat some seeds. And they like just picking around in the snow. They don't, it doesn't bother them. So it is beauty day, like the sun, right in my eyes. Um, little breeze even, not too bad. We are going to head down to the pig pen. Okay. All right. Got you guys situated here. Let. Hi. Hi. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy girl. Hi, Daisy. Come on. Come on. Let's 
go. Let's go. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully you got some audio. Um, but let's see. Okay. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Daisy. We've got the three basins or pans. Where's the other one? Come on over, Porky. There. Now they're all in their own. Ah, much better. Much better. So we were discussing poop handling. Um, for the these two are going to share. Um, when we're pasturing, we're moving the pigs often enough that we're not getting a huge pile of piggy poo. Um, but in here, in their paddock, because the weather is not really good for pasturing and there's no grass growing, so we are keeping them in. We're going to have to manage our manure. And we discussed doing a compost pile as well as just raking it in and maybe just seeding this area because it's going to sit empty for the summer. Um, if you guys are in Alberta, you cooney cooney, and you pasture and you have a suggestion of what you do for your winter paddock, or if you just want to have a chat, um, just message us. Then you don't have to put it out publicly about what exactly you do. But it's nice that the farming community and the homesteading community is so supportive and sharing the wealth of knowledge that everybody has and what they do. And I know what works for one farm or homestead isn't going to work for them all. And that's why we share our journey of what we're doing. We're not professional farmers by any means. Like, you guys have followed us for a little while now. And, yeah, we're only eight months into pigs. So, every season this year is something new. And three feed pans apparently is just too much for them to manage. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know. Hey, come in. Okay, go up there. They ate way slower yesterday with having the separation. Oh, my God. With having separation from each other. Um, I'm just going to do this with knife on my back. And, yeah, they ate way slower. They shared really nice. Hi, Porky. And hopefully they learn where the feed pans are going to my presentation voice because I have a feeling you can't hear me now. Um, yeah, lo lots of learning this week. We've done <laughs> pig brushing. We've gotten to see um, what happens at night with the trail camera, teaching the pigs to use the nipple waters on the big 45 gallon drum of fresh water. The, yeah, three feed pans to use, game changer, like right now they're shoving a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, Daisy. Alfalfa pellets are going over a lot better today with them being wet and puffy. Puffy, puffy! Oh, 
um, yeah, so manure management, we're going to be focusing on um, the next couple days here. I am, what am I going to do? Just to plan you guys. Nice piggy butt you guys get to see there. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Here, how about I put you up here? That might be better. <laughs> That's a nice view of piggy butt. There, I can sit back down where I was, I think, and it'll be fine. So. Um, yeah, so manure management. We've got the supplements going with the charcoal diatomaceous earth. I am going to um, look more into a few other natural worming options for us. We ordered... Yeah, what did we order yesterday? The hoof trimmers, because, yes, they need it. Um, looking at, especially Porky's toes, where I can see where his click is versus the end of his um, toenail, he needs a trimmer. So we are confident that we can give it a try and get them trimmed up. We, oh, we candled eggs last night. Again, there's a little video clip on our Instagram and our Facebook. You can see Ew. the little chick embryo swimming around with the eggs when we candle it. So exciting. Only, what day is it? Day 12. So six more days until lockdown. And then they should start hatching on day 21. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how many, um, feathered feet chicks we end up with, with our Brahma roosters um, being the dads. I'm hoping we get a lot of feathered feet and a bigger bird so that when we do have roosters out of this group, they will be going to freezer camp and they will be delicious. So tasty. Um, what else this week? Besides that new stuff, I'm not sure what... Um, Anything else that's new? Keeping my eye out still for a boar. And we go in March and we're going to pick up some more Brahma chicks. That is the hopes and dreams of the little foot farm at this point. And garden planning. We're going to do the staple garden of peas, potatoes, carrots, onions, garlic. Um, that was a hiccup. What else? Tomatoes. My one greenhouse is so good at growing tomatoes that it self seeds itself and I don't even have to plant tomato plants in there. I have cherry tomatoes, dark cherry tomatoes, starfire tomatoes. Um, yeah, that all self seeded the last couple years now. And then in, I think we're gonna revamp our other our greenhouse bring in some more manure dirt because it was pretty sandy and we couldn't really get much to grow in there oh habanero pepper seeds i'm gonna have to order because babe is loving that habanero plant that my sister grew and let him try one of her fresh peppers so we're gonna have to give that a go in our greenhouse Look at you and your confettis today. Look at your confetti. Oh, yesterday's video was so funny. Um, my earbuds didn't work the whole time, so I didn't even realize it. But Lizzie and I are bantering on about our pig confettis and all that. And you guys couldn't hear it, so I went and I put in, uh, um, what's it called? Closed captioning or the um, what is it called? Subtitles. <gasps> Subtitles. And I didn't realize that was going to be such a big deal. I don't know. I watch videos and they've got the subtitles, and I'm like, oh, that's easy to read if I don't know exactly what they said. So that I do that to ours, and uh, sure enough. That's a big deal. Kudos to those people that do that on their videos all the time. 
That feels good, hey? Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at your confettis. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you're going to share nice now, hey? Of course you're going to share nice. There's lots left there, Daisy. He's just being silly. There's lots. Hey, okay, you just being a silly boy? Taking her dinner? He wasn't done brushing Daisy's hair. She walks away. Hey. Okay. There. That's better. Put a, I thought about putting, like mounting a broom, an old broom brush on the side here, like a big one, like a stock broom, so they could brush against it. Okay, why are you eating everyone's food? You still have lots over here, Charlotte. Stop being a piggy. We'll get rid of some of Charlotte's confetti. She's got the longest hackle. Definitely a lot of um, American guinea hog in this girl. Especially compared to Daisy. Daisy's very coony looking. Yeah. Get your brushed out. see her when she gets her hackle up though it's just like razor mohawk and she gets startled by something he smells good he smells like alfalfa go to the other one daisy go to the other one well come over here daisy So yeah, back to, let's talk about poop some more, um, manure for these guys, like, cause they, they eat grains and they eat the hay itself. So their poop is just fibrous rats, really. If they were on more kitchen scraps, um, I don't know, I don't know what, it's not like dogs poopies. They're gross. Yeah, there's just, they're almost like a harder um, cow manure. They just, it's just grass. Oh, you're so sleek and beautiful. So sleek and beautiful. Charlotte. Charlotte, go eat the other one. You are the biggest pig and you eat everyone's food.
feed pan. Look at all that's left in here. Hey Daisy girl, I'm not impressed with that amount of food that's left. I'm gonna go bug everybody. Try to get some of theirs. There, yeah, and uh, trail camera, we'll check that out and see what we got for images on that. Maybe we'll get one right now. Hi, people. <laughs> this crazy chicken lady. I saw um, a meme the other day and it said, oh, now the crazy chicken lady's everybody's best friend because of egg prices in the States. Well, even here, they've gone quite up up quite a bit um yeah so everybody's looking for farm fresh eggs because lots of times less expensive than the uh, grocery store everyone's taking a turn with that pan yeah i think i'm gonna grab a pail do some poop scooping i'm sure um you guys don't need to watch that i might do a time lapse just because I've talked about poop so much today. You guys probably want to see me actually do something about it. So yeah, I'm going to go get a pail and a shovel and I will be back. <laughs> 